Well, earlier today, we ended up putting some airbag suspension on my truck, so that's what I was just testing out. Also raised another question in my head on um, the benefits of living out of a vehicle. I am, um, I'm 16, I live out of this truck part-time. In the next few weeks, giving you guys a little teaser here, but in the next few weeks, I'm gonna be hitting the road for about two weeks. So that'll be interesting, but we're gonna go talk about the benefit of living out of your truck and um, we're also gonna do some cons about it. There is quite a few cons, but mostly benefits in my opinion. So we're gonna hit on the road and uh, explain that subject. Does this have a trailer behind him? Okay, I'm gonna go find a new spot. <laughs> This one is occupied. Good enough spot, kind of in the middle of nowhere, but um, freaking beautiful sunset, oh my gosh. But uh, let's get talking about why living in your vehicle has benefits. So we're gonna start off with, first of all, you can make, this, I guess you could build a house, but you can build out your vehicle any way you want. I mean, it's all, it's just a whiteboard, you know? Your puzzle to make. For me, I built, um, I built a drawer under my bed with all my cooking stuff in it. And then I have a little storage compartment there with, um, I put like clothes in and stuff when I go on big trips. If you guys are wondering how I built out my bed, I have or my vehicle, I have a video post on my channel somewhere that you can um, go look at. A good benefit is to um, you can live kind of anywhere. And this video isn't meant for like if you're living out of your vehicle full time. I'm kind of just going over what I do. You can kind of live in your vehicle anywhere, like just random parking lots or just in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of a city. It's just an just a open map from there you know like you have so much versatility with doing it i think that's why i like to do it so much is there's just it's just different every day and you can just make it make it however you want it to be you know it's really fun and i i enjoy it a lot i mostly use it for um, going on camping trips and fishing trips some of the cons that come with living out of your vehicle is um one you have to think about every possible way to stay um safe storage and then bathrooms bathroom is a big factor because um i guess if you're a guy you can just have a bottle unless you gotta don't go um you know the other one but if you're a girl you probably need a bucket <laughs> there's always the woods that sounds kind of gross but there's always the woods you know just gotta make do with what you got when you're out there. Um, you get to see a lot of um, a lot of the country. If you live out of your vehicle part time, you can just kind of go wherever. It's just such a like. I just love being random and just doing stuff like on the on the go. You know, that's that's who I am. I'm not a big planner. I usually plan out where I want to go and what I want to do. But other than that, I kind of just figured it out figure it out along the way which I think is um another reason why I like doing it so much there's just so much stuff you can go see and do when living out of your vehicle and you don't have to worry about hotels and whatnot um you do have to worry about where you want to shower sometimes rest stops or truck stops they have they offer showers but what I want to get is um you can get like a bag and you like kind of hang it from a whatever and you kind of use gravity just to clean yourself off and not be a grease ball i guess if you live in a like if you're in a van it's going to be completely different than what i'm saying but in a van would be 
you could install shower, plumbing, whatever. If I wanted to, I could install plumbing back here, but I don't really want to sleep next to that, so probably never going to happen. Yeah, you can just go on road trips, and if you have like a fleet of friends to go with, that'd be just insane. I'm trying to persuade one of my friends into getting a topper, so me and Haven can go on big trips and enjoy stuff while we're young, because life moves on, and uh, one day we're not going to be here anymore. With doing this whole living on the road thing, or kind of living on the road, just living out of a vehicle part time, you can you can kind of camp at just locations that you know you can't get a hotel at. You can just go stay on the river. I've done it multiple times. I kind of asked for forgiveness and not permission, but I haven't had any big run-ins with the nothing, or I haven't had any issues yet. Another thing you gotta worry about though is um if you plan on camping in the winter you gotta find a heat source and um there's multiple ways to heat it. This winter I'm probably gonna use like a little buddy heater, <clears throat> like a little propane thing, but I gotta figure out how to vent these windows because I didn't get the ones with the sliding screen, so I gotta vent that so I don't kill myself on the side of them. Shoot. There's a ranger coming. I gotta get out of the road. Back to what I was saying before we were interrupted. It's whatever. But, um, and there's also, for me, like this is just a feeling I get while truck camping or living out of my truck. I'll just say camping from now on, but you know what I mean. But there's like a almost cozy feeling to doing it because you, um, you're in such a small space and you kind of just have control of everything you're doing. This is sketchy, dude. Oh my God. I plan on down the road, living out of my vehicle full time, but as right now I'm still in school and um, I play sports and whatnot. So I really can't go full time, but I can, I do as much as I can. So if you guys enjoy this kind of lifestyle and the whole atmosphere around camping and being out in nature, make sure to like and subscribe really would help me out um, because this is my dream this is what I want to do it's I just love being just like weird like it's not weird but um, random if that makes sense just go out and deal with nature and live in the environments it's really fun that's just all the that's, it's about the adventure you go on it's about the experience you get out of it and yeah, it could be a bad experience, it could be a good experience with me. I've had some sketchy things happen, but mostly good experiences. Because at the end of the day, if you're not making yourself known <clears throat> where you're camping at, no one's really gonna mess with you, unless it's just some dude that's out of his mind. Or girl that's out of their mind, you never know. Yeah, but your biggest cons would be heat. You can get a diesel heater. I know you can get those, which I plan on installing one of those down the line. But you can get a diesel heater, um, propane oil like an oil heater if you have the power bank to power it and then also um, you want to make sure you have power when out here if you bring your phone or laptops and or you're, you're filming videos like me I constantly have to charge my camera gear it's looking like it's neat it's gonna rain over there but you want to um, figure out a power source for me I have uh, just a like a hundred. I don't know. It's some. It's not. It's not big. I think it's like 150 watts. I have no clue. Couldn't tell you honestly. But it it powers lights back there, and then I can charge my phone. And I usually run a little fan off of it. Um, another big thing that in the summer you want to worry about your air conditioning. I think you can get little AC units, but again, you got to figure out how you're going to power it. I know you can run um, power off a. Of, alternator solenoid I'm pretty sure or some alternator thing that keeps recharging a battery if you have it back there or you can use solar panels and um, also you want to be prepared for just about everything you always want to have tools on you um, you just want to have like some quick quick to eat food in case anything gets hairy when you're out there just standard stuff like zip ties and Kleenexes, just you know, 
disinfectant wipes and stuff like that to them. Make your life a lot easier if you're out there on the road. And also, um, big thing about living in a vehicle is I'm picking out your vehicle. I'm not gonna get into the argument of which brand is better or whatnot, but personal experiences. I've, I'm kind of born into a Chevy family, so I've kind of hung around Chevys, and then my grandpa has a Toyota Tundra, so I went and test drove one, and I fell in love with them. I loved how they handled and whatnot, so I went out and looked at Marketplace for a little bit, and I found a keeper. So just make sure you guys, you know, go out and pick a nice, reliable vehicle. Don't try and get something that with a lot of modifications on it that, you know, aren't done right, because that's gonna end up leaving you stranded in the middle of nowhere. And uh, nobody wants that. I think I've kind of covered everything I wanted to cover for this video. Sorry, I've been kind of just swamped with schoolwork and whatnot. It's getting kind of busy. I'm gonna, next video is gonna be a camping video, but uh, I try my best. I have a lot of food on my plate. If you wanna support me, I'm Byron from Byron's Baits. I make fishing lures. If you guys like fishing, make sure you go check out my website, byronsbaits.com or I just released some bumper stickers that say explore until pour on them. I'll put the meaning down below if you guys want to look at that. I, I like to push experiences. It's way better than money personally to me. You can think different. Everyone can have their own opinion. But um, if you guys like whatever I just talked about, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. As always, I'll see you in the next one.